Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is uh, Saturday, September 4th, and got out here fairly early in the morning. It's about 8.30. Uh, work on the beehives a little bit before it gets uh, blazing hot out. So it's supposed to get up to uh, 97 today, I think. Tomorrow is supposed to cool off and be only in the 80s. So uh, we're on that downward uh, slope to uh, heading into the fall, and the days are getting a lot shorter. You can sure tell can't get near as much done outside after work uh, when I want to go out there and do something. But uh, today we're going to get into, uh, let's see, Unlucky 13. We're going to check on it and see how it's doing. It's still got the robber screen on there with the little top entrance open. And I'm going to also check on uh, Tiny Swarm and Hive 19. So all three of those hives don't have marked queens. So I'm going to try to, uh, with our four-handed queen catcher, uh, get in there and uh, get those marked and uh, see how they're doing. And uh, something else I'm gonna do while I'm down here, I'm probably not gonna video it, but I'm gonna check uh, the honey supers I still have on and look at them. If I have any that are just totally empty that aren't being touched, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. And also I'm gonna check my uh, all my feeders that I've got going in the weaker hives and see how they're doing. And tomorrow I might come down and add some more feed to those if they need it. Make sure none of it's rancid and uh, and all of that so uh let's get going in uh 119 and uh, unlucky 13. uh hopefully unlucky 13 is finally catching a break but <laughs> let's get in there and see how it's doing let's get going okay we'll start here on a uh, hive 19. uh the reason i'm gonna start here is if i find a lot of uh brood in here which last time uh it's probably four weeks ago i checked it it was full of brood so uh, if I find some uh, cat brood and quite a bit of it, I'll take a frame over to uh, Unlucky 13 and give them a little bit more. But uh, let's get in here. I'm going to try and do this without smoke uh, so I don't run the queen around. And uh, the time I did spot her last, she's really small and dark. Kind of like a little dinky lizard or something. <laughs> she's tiny. But maybe she's bigger by now. But she had laid quite a bit. Pretty strong hive. Looks like so far. So this hive wasn't that strong earlier in the season. And they requeened. And seem to have rebounded pretty nice. And we have a frame feeder in here. And it's uh, totally empty. So we'll check on their food stores and all that while we're in here. Do a weight check on it real quick. See what it weighs. That's not a lot of weight to it. I'm lifting this with uh, two fingers on each side. It's not in danger, but there's not a lot of weight to it. So these bees didn't have a lot of time to forage uh, during the flow like all the other bees did. Everything these bees have collected have been throughout the summer and what I've given them here with the uh, frame feeder. So this frame here is uh, mostly pollen. So we may have brood right on our next frame coming up. A little bit of nectar out here on the far outside of the frame. So yeah, we're going to need to feed these. Uh, it's been really dry the last week. We haven't had any rain for a while. And uh, the fall flow was... I thought it had started, but I'm not so sure now that it has. So here's honey on uh, your right side and cat brood on your left. And this whole frame is brood. So if I find that queen, I'll grab a frame of brood uh, if I find enough in here, but it appears that we will. So I just want to be sure I don't grab a frame of brood and not spot that queen on it accidentally move her. Don't want to do that. Then I'd have unlucky 13 and unlucky 19.
Yeah, this would be a good frame to take over there because it's got some pollen on it too with the brood. Don't see her. So we're getting into less brood now. Uh, capped brood. A little bit of nectar on this side. This queen is hard to spot. So I went out in the sunlight to look in these empty cells to see if she was uh, laying eggs in there and I didn't see any. So this frame here has a lot of emerged cells that she hasn't backfilled yet. There's no eggs in there. So <clears throat> she's slowing down on her laying, which this time of year, that's what they start doing. You don't want a queen laying up a huge population going into the winter. So there's a lot of younger larvae on this frame here. bunch of uncapped right there so she has laid some on this frame and I've got a bee crawling up my leg great ah! that bee's getting a little high I assume it's a bee. Well, this would go a lot faster if I could use a little smoke. But try not to smoke them because I want to. I don't want to run that queen away. Uh, this is heavy, so well, it's heavy with brood. Lots of brood there. I'm gonna grab this frame. I'm gonna look real close for that queen. We're gonna move it over to hive 13. So normally you wouldn't find your queen on a frame that's got a lot of cat brood because she's basically done with this. Uh, she won't come back to this until she's got some empty cells to look at. So I want to set this down here. Actually I'm going to take it over there so my little hive stand, the bee mate's over there. I'm just going to take it over there and set it down on that. Hopefully we'll find her here, get her marked. I'm not going to go into the bottom. I don't think there's anything going on down on the bottom. Uh, and we need to get over there and get that frame in there for uh, we start robbing. Okay, here's Hive 13. And uh, you can see we've got the robber screen on there. With our little entrance open there at the top left. So I see bees walking around in there. Uh, hopefully everything's okay in there. Wouldn't surprise me to open this and uh, find nothing. Uh, it's just the way it's going with this hive. So last uh, we were in this, we added uh, two resource frames and a frame of bees. There's a wax moth. It got away. And we had a little bit of fighting uh, from the robbing. Yep. So, we may find, there's nothing in here. We may find, there's a few bees right there. We might find that queen right there. So this, if we find her, it needs reduced down to a nuke. So it's, the robbing screen stopped the robbing, but I, you know, they must have absconded or man this is really disappointing let's look at this frame here real quick so this is our donor frame we've got larva coming out and we got and we got small high beetles taken over already so this is just one week and this was a populated frame with the nurse bees so there's bees emerging there and no one to take care of them. So we got a little concentration of bees right in here. So maybe we've got our queen in there. Don't see her here. 
So again, we've got cap to merging. I hate to lose a good queen. And I'm not seeing the queen. So the queen probably was killed during the robbing. She may have absconded too. So here's a bunch of some real young bees. So these have just emerged in the last week. Gosh, that's a bummer. So now I grabbed a brood frame and brought it over here for nothing. So I need to put it back. <laughs> so I spot that queen. If I was to spot her, I'd reduce this down to a nuke and I would treat it just like a banked queen. But she's not in here. We'll uh, tear this down all the way. I might find her down on the bottom. And these all need to get up to the freezer because we've got some wax moths starting. Lots of uh, small hive beetle larvae going in here. See, there's brood right there. Nothing to take care of it. And on this side, I stopped that robbing pretty quick too. Uh, didn't seem to matter. She could be down in that feeder. Just dump it out right here. And there goes a wax moth. Sorry suckers. Yeah, no queens. Man. Here's where our queen's going to be. She's down here dead in all that carnage. So this was from the robbing. So that's all dead bees. And larva. Or young uh, pupa, I think they're called, that got pulled out before they were developed. So this had to happen in like probably an hour's time and that's just crawling with uh, small high beetle larva. Thought I might see the queen dead in here. It's going to be hard to find her as she is. Yeah, so we need to uh, take care of all this stuff. So I'm always saying plans change, right? So this is a big time change of plans. So I'm gonna take care of this here. I'm gonna hit this with my torch and kill all those small high beetle larvae so they can't get into the earth and pupate and make more small high beetles. Uh, and we got this uh, brood frame over here we need to take care of. So. Uh, the tiny swarm could use a boost too. So I'm going to take that uh, brood frame over there and these bees that are left here and I'm going to expand them to a 10 frame uh, because all that won't fit in the 5 frame and uh, give them a little bit of boost and uh, we'll also try and mark that queen while we're over there. So let's get going over there. Okay, tiny swarm entrance looks good. Let's get in there and uh, we'll look into expanding this thing. So last time we were in there, we had them a frame in the center because they were full up. They had full frames that were full of either bees or nectar and the queen had no place left to lay. So we'll probably get our high stand over here, our portable one, the bee mate. Make sure our queen isn't on here. Kill that high beetle. Okay, let's get our high stand over here. So we're not gonna put 10 frames in this. Uh, we'll have five plus at least one. And I got these frames here from Unlucky 13 that have uh, some brood left that's emerging, but 
they've got high beetle larva climbing all over it. So I'm not going to put high beetle larva in here. Not going to do it. So this is a good frame we can use. There's no high beetle larva crawling on it. I do see one wax moth started right there. And I just killed it. So we'll use this one. And this one's a no. It's got stuff on it too that we don't want in there. Okay. Make sure that uh, queen's not walking around on the walls here. So let's get this uh, move back out of our way and we'll get set up with our tin frame here. There's a wax moth. So here's our brood frame donor. So we'll work around this. Look again for that queen, the elusive queen. So these are all nurse bees. They will stay here with this brood. All right, and we'll put our frame feeder in here. So you can see this queen, there's brood there in the middle and it's all surrounded by nectar. See, she was out of room to lay. They were uh, honey bound basically uh, from me feeding them and trying to get them boosted up, but they ran out of uh, places to lay. So there's our queen. And I'm not going to mark her. She's going to have enough trauma today. So I think this is the frame I put in there last. And they put a lot of nectar in it. And uh, I haven't fed them. So I don't know where that came from. Maybe they moved it around in the hive. Maybe they foraged it. But I didn't think we had any forage going on. And a hive that small, for them to bring all that in. So we'll put our donor frame right here. I didn't want to put that donor frame right against that queen. So I don't think I'm going to put that other frame in there that I was thinking about. I'm just going to leave them with these six frames, the frame feeder, leave this open. And I need to get them a little bit of sugar water in here. Uh, they really don't need the extra food, but the sugar water will help them uh, build up a little bit. It'll stimulate the queen to lay. So uh, let's get this covered up. Had a few bees migrate over here. Give them that. Get these down in there. There's a few on here with some high beetles. All right. So I want to reduce this down. This is the uh, patented Jerome B Farm entrance reduction system. Link below. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little recap. <laughs> you know, someone said uh, in one of their comments, I've heard other people say it, that they like my channel because I show the bad stuff. <laughs> so the, the downside of beekeeping, some people, they all show everything goes good. Well, I show everything, including the bad. So this was uh, for you people that like to see the real life and the bad stuff. You got a full dose of it today because we planned on coming down here, marking three queens with uh, 2021 white and uh, 
everything ducky and we post the video and uh, move on but none of that happened so yeah hive 19 couldn't find the queen pulled the brood frame to boost 13 got it over to 13 uh, didn't find the queen got it over to 13 13 has gone uh, regroup there so bring that brood frame here boost one uh, and we didn't mark one because she just got an upgrade to a new hive and she's uh, having a little bit of trauma from all that all the change so let's don't uh, give her a new dress in the same day so uh, let's uh, let her go with that uh, this hive looks pretty good uh, I think it's gonna do okay uh, I said the same thing about 13 probably 20 times and it it was a failure all year long so that was a wildflower meadows queen too and that's why I really wanted to find that queen because I know she's got good genetics uh, just because of the things that I've done or whatever bad luck unlucky 13 has been unlucky and it that was it man just <laughs> game over forget for uh, unlucky 13 so uh, we might move that uh, nuke number 31 or wildflower meadows gifted queen over to look to a 13 position but man i hate to even put a hive there anymore i may just leave that spot empty from now on <laughs> is this i had trouble with that spot last year too and it's just not been a good spot and it's 13 go figure anyway that's the end of the video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and uh, consider hitting that subscribe button i appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next uh, beekeeping video Y'all take care.